Hey guys, glad to have you back. My name is Don and this is Adventures This Way. In today's video, we are going to be focusing on testing for leaks on the snorkel system for my custom Player Sportsman 850 XP. For those of you that have been following the channel for a while, ever since I installed this Snorkel Your ATV kit on this here machine, I've known that I've had problems. Nothing but problems, nothing but problems. I have the clutch cover reinstalled and I'm testing for leaks. And this is why you should do things like this. Right there. Look at that. I've fixed them, I've changed them, another problem comes up, I'm right to the point I'm sick and tired of it. actually had things dialed right in on one ride out of like the last six like it's it's insane so this time I took the covers off resealed everything leak tested it and everything was so I thought okay well we're going to find out if uh, how good our belt box is sealed up But here's what happened. Started doing the Candy Mountain water crossing, and when I got to the deepest parts of that, just after that, I noticed I started getting water in. This is the deepest spot, it's here. I'm pretty sure I got some water in my belt. So next steps, I'm going to pull this thing out of here, turn it around, and I'm going to go through the steps that I go through to test for leaks in my snorkel system, and I'll have you along for the ride, and we'll see where the leak is this time. I have a feeling it'll be pretty easy to find because it filled up with water awful fast. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove my CVT snorkel tubes here. I will use these inch and a half uh, caps. They're just you get at your regular plumbing store. That's awesome, there's someone outside uh, honking the horn. Yeah, the kids are home from school next door. <laughs> Anyways, just got a uh, hole drilled in it here, got a piece of tubing, and I got it and it fits real tight. So I can stick my air gun in here and we can pressurize the system. All I gotta do is I got uh, gear clamps on here, and this is a rubber boot, uh, rubber couplings here, so that it helps, one, I can take the risers off, and two, it gives a little bit of a, get some dampening with the vibration. I know I said before in a previous video, if you had any idea how many zip ties and uh, silicone I have in this thing. Oh, there we go. Okay. There, I got the one off. Okay. The joys of owning a four-wheeler, and I'll tell you, the joys of having your customized machine, sometimes, sometimes it's not that great. Did the right one. All right, come on. What's going on here? Oh. Oh, that's loose. Look at that. Huh. My silicone was loose on that one. A lot of that's from, uh, it's got to be from all the vibrations driving down the trails. That is freaking solid. That's a good seal I got with that. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Hmm. Okay. Now we're out. Yeah, look at the... It's been spinning and getting polished. 
So yeah, it's not that part definitely wasn't watertight. But it wasn't that I wasn't that deep though. But I have been. I have been. I sure have been. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> so, we insert this guy. Oh, I can hear air leaking. Major, can majorly hear air leaking. Down towards the clutch cover somewhere. Oh, aha. Uh -huh. I'm feeling it down here. I don't, I hope to God it's not the clutch cover. Because I friggin' tested that thing. So, I'm feeling, I made a new connection down here. And I guess what I'm feeling, I'm feeling some air somewhere down here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think it's this right here. I put this new piece in. Oh yeah, I can see a gap. I can see a gap. Oh yeah, look at that. There's a gap right, right by that vent hose. Oh yeah. Frig sakes. I replaced this piece because the other one was completely warped. Holy frig. Can you hear that, boys? We found the leak. I'm glad it didn't take me that long to find it. It's a pretty obvious one. I'm sure it took me longer to take the risers off than it did to find the leak. Okay, so this here is a two and a half to two inch reducer bushing. Much more rigid. So what we did was I had to put a piece of two inch pipe in here. But what I needed to do, this was a little bit thick, a little bit long, so I ended up Given this part, once I had it all together, it stuck out it stuck out a little too far. So I gave it a little cut with the saw. So we got two inch piece of pipe here, put our two inch elbow on, and then what we've got is this other reducer bushing here. That's two inch, two inch and a half. That goes in there, and then we're inch and a half the rest of the way. So, I got, it hooked, I got the air hooked back in here. Now, it's not 100% sealed, but it's gonna work. Like, it'll hold a lot of air. What you could do is you could silicone these on, silicone this, like this is pretty tight, but it's gonna work for you. You're gonna be able to keep pressure in the system. Now, got it, something to keep in mind is this is the intake system. So it's not gonna have any pressure in it. It's gonna have air is gonna get sucked in through here. And then once we come out the exhaust side, it's going to have air pressure in it. So you're going to be much less likely to have a leak in this part of the system. Even if you had a teeny weeny small leakage, it's not as bad. You just, you know, while the machine's running, because other clutches are spinning, you know, it's creating air pressure. But on the intake side, any little leaks are going to get sucked in easily. So let's uh, get rid of those spray downs with the soapy waters. Oh yeah. I'm not hearing that big hiss like I did before. But look at that. Okay, so look at this. Okay, we got some bubbleage. That's very small. So what I may try to do is let's tighten that up a little bit. So the thing is with rubber, you do not want to over tighten. Plus, as I showed you before, like you can really clamp, this clamp uh, really tightens down pretty good. Okay, try her again. I mean, you could, when I've gone through and tried to use silicone or RVT, and it just doesn't stick properly. You shouldn't need it for rubber. You shouldn't. Okay. Okay. 
See, I've gone and over tightened this before and I wrecked the clamp. I've tried silicone, I've got RBT in here. I don't know. It's just. It seems like it's a you're fighting a losing battle, an uphill battle all the time. Okay, we've got some light on the situation. Now check this out. Look at this. Watch this, boys. <laughs> Watch this. Right there. Look at the bubbles. Look at you can feel the air. Look at. So at that joint there is leaking, which I'm surprised. But look at the leaks in the hose. Look at one, two. Here's the best part. I already replaced this part because I discovered I had a leak in it. That's why there's that's why there's a joint right there. And then obviously I didn't have a you know long enough piece, so I was in the joint right there. The only thing I really think of is I must somehow be getting rubbing on these tires. The tire must hit this at some point. So the only real course of action is I'm tired of you know messing around with this, is I'm gonna replace this hose. As you fix the leak, then you test some more. And you test and you test and you test. All right guys, so we have now addressed the leak in the intake snorkel system. As I showed you earlier in the video, I tested it. We had leaks everywhere. The only thing was to just replace it all. But the challenge is I'm not replacing it with the exact same material that came with my original kit. That stuff was quite flexible. What I'm replacing it with isn't so much, but it's what I have on hand and I know it will not leak. As long as I get everything to fit the way that it needs to be, there's a lot of bends and twists. I have to glue a lot of pieces together. I'll show you what I did. Okay, this is the part of the intake system that's hidden underneath the plastics. Uh, it's actually different than the last video. So, what I actually did was, I actually went and I made this piece up. I kind of just recreated what was there, but I made it bigger on this end so that it would clamp easier and get a better fit. But then, once I hooked everything up, then I knew I had more leaks. So basically, I had to start and take this and uh, start over. Oops, I missed the garbage can, it didn't go in. <laughs> uh, all right, I tried to take that other piece and make it work, it just did not. But what I did was, good thing I bought extra pieces when I was at the supply store. And let me tell you, like this fitting here is like $7 Canadian or $7.50, it's crazy. It clamps so much better. But what I did here was, it was a lot of calculation and trial and error. And I don't know if you can see here, but once you get everything lined up dry fitted, the tricky thing with dry fitting is that uh, you never get the, the pipes in as far as they actually go when they're glued. So you gotta kind of play with that. I'd like this to be a little flatter down this way, but it's sealing and who cares? But the nice thing is, look at this. This is in here, it's sitting, that's my starter right there. So it's just sort of sitting against the, the starter and it's not really gonna get a lot of movement. The other one had, the other one had a lot of movement and it caused me problems. There's loads of room here for the, the plastics to go on. This is way tighter. I don't think this is gonna restrict the airflow anymore because it already, it already was an inch and a half pipe and then it slowly reduced down, whatever, I don't know. I'm not an engineer, but I do know that this thing does not leak. Let me just show you a little bit under here. So, I mean, it's the same pathway. I still have to uh, tie it up a bit, but I mean, I played around with it so much, so much. This isn't the exact place. This is gonna get adjusted just a little bit. Okay, so uh, one of the last steps I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna charge it with some air and I test it for leaks, soapy water. Okay, we're engaging soapy water. I glued these joints, they're not gonna leak, but anywho. So, do you see any bubbles? I like it. All right, so I'm confident I found all the leaks and have solved most, the 99% of my issues on my machine. But when you get a lot of stuff and gook and dirt and stuff inside your clutches and your belt, it's gonna wear parts out and we do not want that. While you're waiting for my next newest upload, why not watch one of these great ones I got right here. I'll see you in the next one. Bow chicka wow wow.